Hey, it's Leanne here for What's Up Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about clutter-free gift giving and give you some ideas on what you can do. I'm coming at you from the deep freeze in Canmore, Alberta in the Rocky Mountains. It's, uh, I think it was like minus 33 with the wind chill. So um, we're all wearing toques inside up here at the moment. Anyway, the key at this time of year for everybody is to de-stress is really have a plan and also have a budget so that when the you know bills roll in in January you're not in shock so just off the top before I begin with some uh, clutter free gift giving ideas I just wanted to let you know have a plan you know find out the gifts that people want it's gonna save you time in the end so you're not returning things in January and also set a budget per person that is really reasonable for you and then the next thing with clutter free gift giving is think of gifts that are consumable that's the whole thing about clutter free you know have you ever had this happen where you have the small kids around the house and it's Christmas morning and there's a whole bunch of gifts and they're just rifling through the gifts and they're opening each one and then they go off and play with their other stuff and all the gifts are just sitting in the corner my point is less is more with gift giving and sometimes when we get caught up with the season we end up spending way too much money and uh, because we don't have a plan and we don't have a budget, um, yeah, January is kind of a downer because we have to pay for everything that we've purchased. So here's a few ideas for you today on consumable gift giving. So um, lessons, that's an awesome one, especially for kids. Maybe they're learning how to play the guitar or the piano or there's some kind of music class that they can attend so think about lessons in your gift giving plan and that's always good for grandparents because they're always trying to think of what can they get children um, so consumable gifts are best so the other things are um, you know tickets to an event maybe it's a hockey event or maybe it's a play uh, maybe it's something that you can do together or um, you know for teenagers those things are really good some kind of event maybe it's a rock concert or something like that um, other things are memberships could be a punch card at a gym it could be um, things like a zoo pass or maybe a theme park if you have one um, some other ideas are like from the service industry like women love this manicures pedicures maybe for the guy or the girl you know detailing of their car which is an awesome, awesome gift, especially if you live where we live and there's always like snow and stones and dirt accumulating in, in our cars really easily. Um, and then the other thing is like edibles, right? Food, like everyone's kind of into food now, right? Like you can do the, actually I've got a few things here, like the nice oil and balsamic vinegar. It's a super great gift, especially if you're gonna go over to someone's house and you wanna bring something other than you know the go-to wine bottle so here's uh, you know some ideas and if you're from Canmore we actually have a great evolution place where you can get all these uh, amazing things um, I mentioned you know tickets to an event um, gift cards are always good especially for your teenagers so like iTunes gift certificates unless it's going to be charged to your account anyway which is mostly the case with parents um, you can get well this is for Asher's school but you can get like gift cards to restaurants um, Amazon Indigo like the bookstores all that kind of stuff so those are great gifts to give as well what else do I have here um, if you really want to kind of do something homemade like do it yourself I actually did this for my partner Grant last year but he forgot about the coupon book and he just pulled it out this December it's a good thing I put like an expiry date for the end of this year but anyway what I did I just went to Bow Valley Basics and just got these little coupon things and I did up this little coupon book with a nice silver pen and you know things like um, I'll mow the lawn if you don't want to or shovel the snow you know movie night or you don't want to cook dinner I will and like all these great gift certificates but you got to make sure that that they keep them out and they remember them because Grant has to redeem these like in the next three weeks so that's a good gift um, the other thing is is you can do do-it-yourself gifts like you can get these beautiful bottles and put some water in them and a little bit of like essential oils and I get the labels from Bow Valley Basics which is our stationery store and, and this is like a bed and linen spray where I just put uh, lavender and cedar wood in there and a pinch of salt just to mix it all up and um, it's a really nice gift and it's like I don't know seven bucks to make that 
Um, and as far as like stocking stuffers, I just wanted to give you some ideas. I mean, always like the toothbrush, right? We always need those. Have you gone and seen some people's toothbrushes? Like they're totally mangled. So lots of toothbrushes are good. Uh, you know, you can get beautiful beeswax candles. Like mm, they're so beautiful and they're not toxic when they're burning, right? Beautiful skincare products. Like we've got this Rocky Mountain Soap Company here, which is awesome. And they've got like the lip butters, the, the lip balms and um, you can get them beautiful soaps and things like that that you can put in the stockings for women. I mean, we can never have enough of these hair ties or barrettes and things like that. So these are great things that we're going to consume and we're going to use. And they're not just going to get stuffed away somewhere where uh, we never use them. And I guess the thing for me is with stockings is, you know, less is more. And if you buy something, get something really good instead of like, you know, Winners has all those discounts, you know, lotions and potions and things that look like they're like ancient and you know who wants that get something beautiful and something that the people are going to love so less is more if that's just one item it's just one item um what else do i want to tell you oh these are kind of fun too these little um honey tubes that you can get at the health food store um so it's a nice sweet thing and then of course you know the orange in the toe i don't know if you guys grew up with that um uh, but I, I certainly did, and I continue that tradition. And then the other things are, you know, sometimes change or something like that you can also put there. But the whole thing is about not waking up in the new year and having way too much stuff and nowhere to put it. And, you know, that's stressful. Is we're trying to simplify our lives right now, and we all have way too much coming at us. So let's start at the beginning before Christmas comes and set a plan, set a budget, get consumable gifts, so that we're not left trying to put things everywhere in our house, right? They're things that people can use. So um, I think that's all I wanted to say today. And uh, stay warm if you're in the Bow Valley. It's like unbelievably cold. Luckily, we have the sun shining today. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is, you know, I know people are thinking about just the holidays and surviving that. But, you know, hopefully you can take some time where you can zoom out and start thinking about what you want to bring in uh, for 2017. And if you want to talk to me about that, I'd love to have a conversation. You can message me and uh, I have a free discovery session that I'm offering. Um, so if you're interested, just message me. But in the meantime, uh, enjoy the holiday season. And remember that um, less is more. And really, it's not about the stuff. It's about the moments. So have a good one and uh, happy holidays.